becoming celibate. He didn't think he could convert to Christianity and then take up with another woman. Not because one couldn't do that, but because he didn't think he could do that because of this relationship that he had with this other woman. That, you know, that would be a form of unfaithfulness to her. And so Monica is just really disappointed because, you know, she wants grandchildren. She's, she's disappointed at various points. She wants grandchildren. She's worried that Augustine is getting mixed up with the wrong crowd. Um, she's worried about Augustine's relationship. She's very nosy. <laughs> Um, and, and, you know, she's thankfully a saint now, but <laughs> she, she had problems along the way. Yeah. But didn't she, I, I just remember she prayed for him. I mean, wasn't that, didn't she pray for him his whole life? And that was something, you know, had something to do with his conversion. I mean, that's just what's in my head. She prayed for him, but it took 13 years um, from, it was 13 years from when she, she, so she pray, praying for him his whole life. Mm -hmm. And at a certain point, uh, she goes and talks to a bishop and says, you know, what should I do about my wayward son who's getting mixed up with this ridiculous but popular religious set, sect called the Manichees? And the bishop says, don't worry, a son of so many tears cannot be lost. So she gets this promise. And you can imagine she goes home feeling really good about that promise. And then 13 years later, Augustine becomes Catholic. So she prays, but I mean, I don't know if I, yeah, I don't know if I prayed for anything for 13 years. I mean, that's a long time. You just start to feel like, mm, maybe that's not happening. Maybe there's a different plan. So yeah, she had this tremendous, tremendous faithfulness. It is really a model for mothers. Yeah. Any other questions about how to read? I never threw this book against the wall. I did throw Descartes against the wall. <laughs> At least I don't have to come up here and give you a pitch for Descartes. That, that would not go well. But I think you'll have a lot of fun with this text. And it's a text that's great for conversation. You know, I regularly teach, um, I regularly teach a seminar on Augustine's Confessions uh, at our graduate program, which incidentally is full of people just like you people who are working or retired um, and want to dig in a little bit more to the faith. And the conversation is always tremendous. Augustine's metaphors, um, the way that so much of what he says is very relevant to, to our lives, to, to the kinds of decisions that we're making. I think you'll find it a really enjoyable book and I'm excited for you that you're going to get to share that conversation together. So thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.